Welcome to our podcast where we dive into the fascinating world of cryptocurrency and explore its impact on the global economy and financial landscape. In recent avalanche news, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE, has adopted the Avalanche blockchain for their tamper-proof credentialing system, demonstrating growing recognition of blockchain technology for secure and immutable record keeping. IEEE also plans to issue blockchain skill certificates using the Avalanche blockchain in India, employing tamper-evident tech to assure the authenticity and validity of these certifications. Meanwhile, price predictions signal an upcoming rally for Avalanche, leading investors and enthusiasts to closely monitor its progress with expectations of a significant surge in value. The combination of Avalanche's integration into IEEE's credentialing system, the positive price projections, and the planned issuance of blockchain skill certificates underlines Avalanche blockchain's rising prominence and potential in diverse fields. Stay connected for more updates on these exciting advances in Avalanche's journey. In our latest round of Bitcoin updates, we find bullish sentiments on the rise among institutional investors, an indication of growing confidence in Bitcoin's future. The options data for Bitcoin has brought about this interesting insight. There's significant anticipation in the crypto community regarding the massive Bitcoin halving pump expected in 2024. The tokens recommended to hold leading up to this event are Bitcoin BC and Retic Finance. The Bitcoin price surge above $43,000 has not only attracted broad attention, but also fostered interest in Bitcoin cloud mining innovations. Investors eye profit-making opportunities amidst these rising values. Moreover, there's been a significant 260% surge in Bitcoin's year-to-date price, encouraging expert predictions of a further uptrend. The expected SEC approval for a Bitcoin ETF in particular fuels these predictions and builds high expectations amongst investors. However, the increasing popularity of Bitcoin has led to a rise in Bitcoin fees. Contention over ordinals and BRC20 tokens illustrates the challenges accompanying Bitcoin's adoption rates. In a quick sidestep to other cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin has seen more than a 15% increase over the past week, with Bitcoin's rally inspiring risk-taking among investors. Shifting focus to the environmental impact of Bitcoin, it's been revealed that its water consumption exceeds that of New York City. Predicted to reach 591 billion gallons this year, this highlights the significant environmental footprint of cryptocurrencies. The financial industry also faces challenges as Bitcoin's surge confronts traditional institutions like JP Morgan and the European Central Bank. The potential for Bitcoin's price to reach $250,000 before the halving event and ETF's approval underscores cryptocurrency's substantial impact. In a roundup of new industry developments, both the overall crypto market cap and Bitcoin have recorded gains over the past week. Additionally, Block has released a hardware wallet, and Robinhood is expanding its services to the European Union, signaling a burgeoning ecosystem, and offers some relief to venture capitalists. Stay tuned for more from the dynamic world of cryptocurrencies as these developments progress. In recent Cardano news, the native cryptocurrency of the Cardano blockchain, ADA, has experienced a significant rally, indicating a potential major bull run. It saw an impressive surge of 6%, while its market value has been nearing its yearly high. This upward trend solidifies Cardano's position in the cryptocurrency market and shows the growing confidence in the network's potential. Numerous factors have contributed to this significant growth, including favorable market conditions and various developments within the Cardano ecosystem. Since October 20th, there has been a substantial increase of 55% in ADA's price, reaching a value of 37 cents. Investors and enthusiasts align the price leap to the burgeoning enthusiasm surrounding Cardano, making the growth even more meaningful. The Cardano team has been proactive in executing their roadmap, achieving a significant market capitalization milestone. The confluence of these developments and positive market sentiment highlights the remarkable growth of Cardano. In the coming months, it will be critical to track Cardano's progress to determine if this rally signifies a prolonged bull run. The path of Cardano's future growth and its ability to sustain this strong performance will be evident in the crypto market trends. 
In the latest developments regarding Shiba Inu, the cryptocurrency community is abuzz with new upgrades to Shibarium, the platform built on the Shiba Inu network. Shibarium recently experienced a significant hard fork which transitions the platform to the Sepolia network. This upgrade promises to enhance scalability and security for DeFi development alongside an improved SHIB burning mechanism, having potential implications for the token's value. Further, the Shiba Inu token has witnessed an 800% increase in burn rate just over 24 hours, a direct result of whales moving billions of SHIB tokens, causing notable market activity. It's crucial to realize that this increased burn rate reduces the token's supply, potentially heightening its scarcity and value. Despite these positive signs, one should remember that investing in cryptocurrencies possesses inherent risks. It's crucial to perform diligent research and assess your personal investment goals and risk tolerance before committing. Considering the dynamic landscape of cryptocurrency, the rise of Bonk and Pepe tokens, which may even outpace Shiba Inu, warrants mention. But these trends can sway rapidly, hence monitoring overall market trends is vital for any potential investment decisions in this sphere. That sums up the Shiba Inu updates. Stay with us for fresh news on this swiftly changing sector. In the latest Binance news, the exchange has pulled back its licensing application in Abu Dhabi. This strategic move, which is unrelated to their recent settlement with U.S. authorities, comes as Binance reconsiders its global licensing needs. In the wake of these changes, Changpeng Zhao, also known as CZ and the founder of Binance, finds himself entangled in specific legal issues. He has been prohibited from traveling to the UAE and must remain in the U.S. awaiting his sentencing after his confession to violating the Bank Secrecy Act was accepted by the court. Further complicating CZ's situation, a U.S. judge has extended his stay in the U.S. by an additional six months due to ongoing legal disputes. The guilty plea from CZ, identified as Binance's former CEO, is under consideration, and the commencement of the sentencing process is underway. The trading platform's activities in the Philippines have also come under scrutiny, with high-level changes, including the departure of the local general manager. Details of Binance's timeline in the Philippines are currently being examined. Meanwhile, Binance's new CEO has taken a firm stance against J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon's criticism, challenging his proposals to close down the cryptocurrency industry. On the market front, Bitcoin has exceeded the 40-call mark, driven by ETF excitement and its increased recognition as a shield against a possible Binance downfall. However, Binance Coin BNB isn't pacing with the overall crypto rally, affected by the turmoil surrounding Binance. In summary, Binance has retreated from its bid for an Abu Dhabi license. Its founder, CZ, faces travel restrictions and legal issues while the exchange reflects on its global licensing path. These updates coincide with the sentencing process of CZ's guilty plea as the former CEO. We will continue to track these and other developments impacting Binance and the broader crypto market. Stay tuned. In the latest BitsLotto news, Co-founder Anatoly Legkatimov has admitted to operating an unlicensed money transmitting business in the U.S. and has subsequently pled guilty to charges relating to money laundering. Based in Hong Kong, the Bitslotto cryptocurrency exchange faces significant consequences due to the illicit nature of these activities. Legkatimov's offenses, which include handling a staggering $700 million in illicit funds, have led him to agree to dissolve the exchange. This incident underscores the potential risks and repercussions ensued by operating in the increasingly scrutinized cryptocurrency realm. In the latest Coinbase news, we have exciting updates that encompass both cryptocurrency payments and support for a Solana-based DeFi project, Jito. Coinbase now supports cryptocurrency payments through widely used social media apps such as WhatsApp and Facebook, simplifying the process of making digital currency transactions. Alongside, the company is also enhancing its native wallet product, Coinbase Wallet, allowing instant global transfers of USDC. USDC is a stablecoin tied to the value of the US dollar and can now be transferred seamlessly through these social media apps. Turning our attention to DeFi, specifically the Solana-based project, Jito is gearing up for an airdrop, which Coinbase has pledged to support. By facilitating this airdrop, Coinbase will not only assist Jito token holders, but also amplify the project's reach. 
Following the successful completion of the airdrop, the JITO token will be listed on Coinbase. This inclusion will bolster visibility for JITO and create new avenues for user engagement. In summary, Coinbase is consistently extending its product offerings and collaborations, streamlining the way users transact with cryptocurrencies and DeFi projects like JITO. The future holds even more innovations and advancements from Coinbase. In today's Coindesk news, we delve into some captivating developments in the cryptocurrency arena. Starting off with the Bitcoin project Babylon, which has impressively garnered $18 million as funding for the enhancement of their staking protocol. This project envisions to improve the efficiency and security of staking, a mechanism that offers rewards to users for keeping their crypto assets in a wallet. With this considerable funding, Project Babylon aims to expand the reach of staking and foster a stronger ecosystem surrounding it. The spotlight then shines on the political world where the Bitcoin and crypto markets found themselves being discussed at the recent Republican presidential debate. This not only underscores the growing importance of cryptocurrency in political dialogues, but also brings into the focus the potential influence these discussions may hold over future digital currency regulations and policies. Reflecting on the past year, we revisit the FTX collapse. The prominent cryptocurrency derivatives exchange suffered a major outage and technical breakdowns, leading to substantial losses for its users and underlining the associated risks and challenges of operating within the crypto industry. This incident underpins the urgent need for resilient infrastructure and efficient risk management practices to avert such scenarios in the future. The theme of cryptocurrency was carried over into the Republican presidential debate, where an in-depth discourse explored its potential effects on the economy, national security, and financial regulation. This debate underscores the escalating importance of digital currencies in political discourse and affirms their emerging role as a formidable force in the financial landscape. That concludes our daily highlights. Be sure to stay connected for more news and updates on the dynamic world of cryptocurrency. In recent news regarding Do Kwan, the co-founder of Terraform Labs, Montenegro's top justice official has indicated intent to extradite him to the United States rather than South Korea in relation to his alleged role in the collapse of TerraUSD and Luna cryptocurrencies. Despite Do Kwan's opposition and appeal against this decision, Montenegro's justice minister has finalized the decision to extradite Kwan to the United States, a move that has since been approved. Thus, Do Kwan is now set to be extradited from Montenegro, all set to face these criminal charges in the U.S. In the latest news regarding Michael Sonnenschein, the CEO of Grayscale Investments has given Bitcoin enthusiasts reason to celebrate. Following his promising discussions with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, concerning the approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF, Sonnenschein has projected an optimistic outlook. Sonnenschein's interaction with the SEC was centered around the possibility of a spot Bitcoin ETF, which according to his statement, seemed to go well. He conveyed confidence and expectancy for a positive outcome, which is significant news for the cryptocurrency community. A Bitcoin spot ETF would offer a path for more institutional investors to join the market. Sonnenschein's optimism implies that, despite the ongoing discussions, substantial headway is being made. The approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF might just be around the corner. Such an accomplishment would serve as a crucial turning point for the cryptocurrency industry by offering a regulated Bitcoin investment vehicle that is more appealing to mainstream investors. As talks with the SEC progress, the cryptocurrency community will be keenly looking for updates concerning the Bitcoin spot ETF approval. A successful approval might open the doors to new opportunities, thus further legitimizing Bitcoin as a mainstream investment choice. In the latest Robinhood news, the notable trading app has broadened its reach across the Atlantic by launching its cryptocurrency trading app, Robinhood Crypto, in Europe featuring over 25 cryptocurrency trading pairs. This significant expansion gives European traders access to a multitude of digital assets and the opportunity to capitalize on the rapidly growing crypto market. Accompanying this move is an enticing addition specifically designed for European customers, the Crypto Back Bitcoin Rewards Program. 
This new program offers Bitcoin rewards tied to the user's trading volumes on the platform. Hence, the more customers engage in crypto trading, the more Bitcoin they can potentially earn. The launch of its crypto buying and selling services in the EU bolsters Robinhood's global footprint and further solidifies its position as a key player in the cryptocurrency trading sector. This not only paves the way for new trading opportunities for European customers, but also strengthens the Robinhood brand in the global trading arena. That concludes this edition of Robinhood News. For more updates about the latest developments in the finance and technology sectors, stay tuned. In recent SEC news, there are noteworthy developments involving Binance and Ripple that have caught the attention of the cryptocurrency community. A former official from the Securities and Exchange Commission has raised eyebrows with his poignant assertion that the popular cryptocurrency exchange Binance's collapse is inevitable. He further proposed that Changpeng Zhao, Binance's CEO, could potentially be sentenced to up to 10 years in prison, sparking alarm within the crypto circles. Complementary to this, previous SEC officials and legal experts have been delving into a recent legal ruling associated with Ripple. The ruling, deemed significant due to its potential impact on other cryptocurrencies, applies the Howey test. This established legal framework is utilized to ascertain if an investment classifies as a security. For Ripple, this test will determine if certain secondary market sales of its XRP token fall under securities offerings. Nonetheless, there's a silver lining for Ripple as recent developments buoy the value of the XRP token. Some market analysts and technical indicators predict a surge of up to 500% for XRP, potentially raising its price to $3 per token. This optimistic projection, backed by encouraging legal progress and strong technical indicators, has instilled hope in XRP investors. These are the top stories for today's SEC news. Stay connected for more insights and updates on these and further advancements in the cryptocurrency world. In the latest What's Minor news, a significant development has taken place in the realm of sustainable Bitcoin mining. The Phoenix Group, a pioneering firm in blockchain technology, has made a substantial purchase of $380 million worth of hydro-cooling mining equipment from What's Minor. This strategic procurement is indicative of the company's commitment to greener, eco-friendly practices within the volatile cryptocurrency industry. Phoenix Group's investment in hydro-cooling mining equipment is a milestone in its endeavors towards sustainable Bitcoin mining. This move not only minimizes the company's carbon footprint, but also fosters environmentally friendly mining processes. In the wider context, the $380 million deal boosts Phoenix Group's market standing and underlines an encouraging trend towards sustainable mining in the cryptocurrency sector. This procurement comes at an opportune time after Phoenix Group's recent successful listing on the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, ADX, which emphasized the company's commitment to transparency while attracting substantial investment for sustainable growth. Now, with the What's Miner contract secured, the Phoenix Group is ideally placed to helm sustainable Bitcoin mining. Phoenix Group's investment in cutting-edge technology not only guarantees efficient mining operations, but also plays a significant role in reducing the industry's carbon emissions. As the demand for cryptocurrencies escalates, it is instrumental for companies like Phoenix Group to adopt environmentally friendly practices. This is a vital step that safeguards the environment while also paving the path for a greener, more accountable era of cryptocurrency mining. That concludes this session of What's Minor News. Stay with us for more updates on the latest and most significant trends in the world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast episode on cryptocurrency. We hope you gained valuable insights and feel inspired to dive deeper into this ever-evolving world of digital currencies.